In this video, we're talking about a special strategy called the Rule of 500, which you can use to get more professional looking results when you're out photographing the stars. This powerful tip can really improve your own astrophotography, so let's dive in. All right, well, we've been waiting patiently out here for about an hour and a half. It's 1130. The sky is nice and dark and our star photos are coming out great. But just to share some information about my settings, I've got the lens all the way open to the maximum aperture, uh, in this case, f1.8. It's letting in as much light as possible. My ISO is whacked right up to 2500, which is pretty typical for astrophotography. And I'm using an exposure time of roughly 10 seconds, and I might try a couple at about 15 seconds, and we'll see how those come out. But the idea with exposure time is that it can't be too long, otherwise we start to see the stars drifting through the sky and they end up with these little tails behind them, which is not necessarily a bad effect, but uh, most people who are into astrophotography um, prefer the look of a kind of pinpoint star. So there is um, a great little rule of thumb that you can use when you're trying to decide how long is too long um, in terms of your exposure time, and that's called the rule of 500. So with the rule of 500, you simply take 500 and divide that by the length of your lens, and whatever number you end up with is the maximum number of seconds that you should open the camera in order to avoid this star trailing effect um, and have nice pinpoint stars. So my 10 second exposure is definitely fast enough um, to beat the rule of 500, no problem at all there. Remember that the rule of 500 is not an exact science. It's a kind of a guideline or a rule of thumb. And the further you are away from the North Star, the faster the stars are moving through the sky. All the stars um, are pivoting around the North Star. So whatever's closest to the North Star is actually moving slower through the sky than the stars that are further away. So anyway, the rule of 500 does not take that into account. So just uh, err on the safe side, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds if you're using a very wide angle lens like 20 millimeters or 18 millimeters. We have a lot more details in our full length video, including how to blend multiple exposures in Photoshop for an ideal nighttime exposure, and many other insights that will help you get the results that you're after. Our course explains it all in a straightforward way, taking you from planning to post-production so that you know how to make your shots stand out from the rest. So head on over to viewfindermastery.com where we've got full length tutorials, thoughtful feedback, and a really fun community of photographers that are waiting for you to join in. And while you're there, go ahead and download our free top 10 purchases guide if you'd like some advice on must have gear items that won't break the bank. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.